What is going on everyone? It's your boy the animation. We are back. I've been asked, I requested to do this video uh, explaining the cards that are in this deck. So this is the deck that I'm currently running. As you see, we got Yamato as leader. She's got the double attack ability. Um, and also once your opponent's on three Don, uh, sorry, three lives or less, you can attach two rested Don to any character on your field except for Yamato. Um, that doesn't include Yamato characters on the field, but just the leader, I should say. Uh, first up, we got the Izo, which is a 2k counter. It's a 3 cost, but you can actually use it to rest the 4 cost. So it does come in handy if you want to go for a final swing, rest the blocker, and try and get like a double attack banish or something. Uh, but it's only an on play ability. But the 2k counter in hand is also handy. Um, and then here we have the Useless Kid, which is absolutely fantastic. You put this on your field, rested with a die underneath. They cannot swing at nothing except for this Useless. Also, every time you rest this useless kid, you can play a three cost from your hand. Hence why the Rosanate is in here, because even if they try and use an ability to get rid of that useless, you can rest Rosanate and save him. But whenever you rest useless, you can put a Rosanate down. Um, they go hand in hand. Next up, we have the Hody Jones. The Hody Jones is definitely a fantastic card to have in your deck as a finisher. I do recommend some people play two, some people play three. I like to make sure I get him to hand, so I play a full play set. Um, if it comes down to it and I've got to use the zero cost um, event card to get some counter, then I will trash a, a Hody because I know I've got four. Um, but yeah, it's handy for that. You know, rest two opponents, take one life of yours to hand. If you're on no lives, it doesn't matter. You can still use it, still rest two of their characters. Literally, rest two blockers. Got a rush character with 8k. You can do an 8k swing with Yamato and then a 10k swing with Hody. It's fantastic. Uh, veg, veggie, beige, however you want to say him. He is a necessity in any yellow deck. His trigger is fantastic. He's a 2k counter. You don't really play him to field ever. I've never played him to field. But yes, it's just a given for yellow decks. Uh, the Sanji, we have him in here for a trigger ability, um, which is fantastic. You know, literally trash card, play this card. He's also got counter and he is a blocker. Plus, if you need to finish a game and you've got him on board, you can swing with him as well, being a 5k attack. This Yamato, I only run two. I don't play it too often when I'm playing the game, but it does come in handy against certain decks, especially if you're playing against the black. It's harder for them. They've got to use a lot of Don and a lot of cards from hand to be able to minus this off board. So, still handy to have to put on board. Uh, but yeah, if you're on one life, you can get a life back. And however many lives are on the field between... the like your opponent and yourself. So say they've got four and you've got one, you can trash a five cost character of theirs, uh, except for Borsalino because Borsalino's a bitch. Um, yeah, next up we got Satori. Again, 2k counter, trigger, you know, trash card, play straight to field. Absolutely fantastic. Can't go past it. Uh, the Onami Banish is a must with Yamato. Literally, when you get to like five Don, drop the Onami, put Banish on Yamato, 8k double attack, Banish. Crazy. Also, has a trigger. Some people I know play Katakuri with the Onami, so they can use her to get the Banish, and they'll play Katakuri out, put it at the top of life, trigger her ability, which will literally uh, KO a 5 cost. It, it's good. Uh, Kiku, absolutely fantastic. You get them to 3 lives, and you trigger an Okiku straight field, which is awesome. Not only that, if they KO her when... They are on three or less lives. You literally get to add a life back. It's a free life. Uh, anyone that doesn't play this in here, I don't understand. I, look, I understand if you're playing the like the armored build and it's mainly green. I play. I like to play yellow builds. So the way I play it, Kiku always fits. Actually, Kiku basically fits in any yellow deck out there. I know a lot of people that are still playing in Nalan Katakuri are definitely playing Kiku in there. Now, as for Hiori, again, 2k counter. But early on in the game, what I usually do, if I, start, if I go second... And I start with my two Don, and I have Hiori in hand, and say a Sanji. I'll play Hiori, I'll take my bottom life, and I'll put uh, Sanji to the top of my life. That way, take the next life, I know I'm triggering Sanji straight to board. Literally just crash a card. It's fantastic. Momonosuke, another fantastic one. The minute you drop him down, you can literally put any Wano character back to the top of your life, or the bottom of your life for that matter. So, I've got obviously Kiku, I've got uh, Hiori, and I've got Yamato, which I can put to the top or bottom of my life so that is a fantastic ability to have usually i like to use it with a kiku that way i can use uh the trigger of kiku next turn take the life get it back out on the board and swing again as for the amaru 
The Amaru is fantastic. Two Don plus three K. Also, if you're on one life, which a lot of times when you're playing yellow, you are on one life, you can rest a character up to four cost. Put it this way. If you've got a Hody Jones and an Amaru in hand and you want to finish the game, but they've got three blockers, say they've got a Borsalino and two Sabos, or a Borsalino and a Rebecca and a Sabo, you literally play the Amaru, add 3k to your Yamato, rest the Rebecca, play Hody, and then rest the other two blockers, do a, what will it be, a 9k swing with Yamato, then attach two rests of Don to Hody, that's a double attack, and then bang, the last life, you've got it. It's done. As for the zero cost counter, it's handy to have, like I said, I play four Hodies. I don't plan on playing four times Hody to my board. I'll never do that. One Hody is enough. Uh, if you're playing Hody, you're going for the win. So generally use him for trashing or the Yamato or the Eustace. Like, you're either going to play one of those three ways when you're playing the deck. Uh, but yeah, I hope this was informative to everyone. That's the way I play it. Um, the next video that will come out will be a video of me playing this deck, and we'll see how we go. Anyway, until next time, peace out, stay safe. Much love, and as always, say hi to your mum for me.